closed okay good morning so this is your week number I think it's week number seven is it or six 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 okay <clears throat> um, when when are you going to start your semester break next week or the week after uh, uh, next 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 week next prior, week prior. Alright, uh, okay. If I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, uh alright, okay. <clears throat> um So today we are going to learn about photorespiration. However, it's going to be a bit uh just a slightly different. Uh because you see so far I have been um teaching you very closely. Uh there is an element of SCL student centered learning that you need to learn a bit on your own so I think um, we can do it uh, this week uh, because uh, whatever your exam your f sorry not your exam your, your first test is going to come fr from up to this uh, today point <coughs> um, so I will uh, give you the questions um, soon after we're done with um, uh, the lessons today. Um, I just realized that I need to uh, create uh, four different sets of questions. Um, uh, but that's alright, uh, that can be done in, in a bit. So uh, let me share my screen. One moment. Right. Um. Can you see the screen now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So this is actually um the co the continuation um from learning photosynthesis, not last week but the, the the two weeks back. Okay. So you have learned about the photosynthesis. Why is it important? The reactions in the photosynthesis. The product of the first reaction, the product of the second reaction, and different types of photosynthesis. Okay. So, when you learn photosynthesis, usually it is um, almost inevitable to learn about a type of respiration, which is very peculiar in plant. It is called photorespiration. The reason is, um, the enzymes that catalyze the carbon fixation in the Calvin cycle, the Rubisco, remember Rubisco? Please, please remember this by heart, okay? This is going to come up uh, various times, so very frequently. The enzyme Rubisco, it can catalyze um, two reactions, the carboxylase reaction and also the oxygenase reaction so this is an quite an issue um, because if it's doing the carboxylation reaction this guy here then that's fine but when it does this oxygenase reaction here yeah the plant is not really getting um, any uh, sugar out of it um, so with the carboxylation you got your um, sugar this is your regular um, as photo assimilate but when it <clears throat> goes towards the other direction the oxygenation reaction this is when you get your photorespiration okay so what's happening because it's a simple fact oxygen can also react with rubisco okay when this is happening, the carboxylation is not taking any place in, in the entire reaction, okay? That has to be done first, then only the Rubisco can do other reactions, okay? So, um, the, so there's no glucose output. So, it, and in terms of metabolic sense, it's kind of a waste time and energy because Rubisco is not really creating the food that we want here. 
<coughs> however um, I don't want to call it like an absolute um, waste because it does serve function the photorespiration okay so um, by having photorespiration uh, the photosynthetic efficiency is going to go down okay so what causes um, uh, photorespiration actually it's a, it's a couple of uh, things okay so with the um, the increase in temperature that cause the closure of stomata okay especially when it's above 30 degrees celsius stomata close this is um, this is from your um, previous lesson okay uh, that's why you can see all the scribble here so go go to your lessons your folder lesson and use this file okay and this so this is a recap okay so when the stomata close uh, pretty much whatever uh, the byproduct of the light reaction remember the photolysis you got lots of oxygen right so the oxygen cannot properly exit the leaf tissue when the stomata are closed and the CO2 also cannot go in that freely so when this happens the buildup of oxygen will cause the rubisco to catalyze the oxygenation reaction why because the oxygen now is getting more and more okay okay so that's there's a whole um, uh, explanation here <clears throat> so now we need to know what actually happens during um, photorespiration okay so um, I am not going to um, teach uh, the entire thing um, because today activity is for you to learn on your own uh, I'm going to give you the overview of photorespiration and the summary of it but the detail of which is something that you need um, to look on your own okay so this is going to be a, a guided thing okay um, I'll be here you can still ask me uh, and, and other stuff okay <clears throat> so that's why plants have different modes of photosynthesis the regular pathway um, is prone to photorespiration okay happens in C3 plants okay <clears throat> but with the evolution with the development of Kratz anatomy for example uh, in the C4 plants in the a camp plant this photorespiration can be greatly prevented okay thanks to the special uh, uh, mechanism which is called the CCM carbon concentrating mechanism okay so because of this Rubisco it's not going to have any meet up with the oxygen okay so the oxygen just cannot get into rubisco because of this carbon concentrating mechanism All right <clears throat> so what i want you to do today is um number one um your um remember you have a this file the general instruction guidelines so um self activity i'm going to bold this so these are the two videos that you can watch to learn a bit more about photorespiration what it's all about so that's only two videos there uh if you um, open that that's gonna bring you to this video so the first video and also the second video i think this is the first one and that is the second one okay so what do you need to to know here so watch the video take all the notes uh, this is a similar thing okay even if i teach it's going to be the same thing okay but what do you need to know important things that you need to know you need to be after you have watched the videos after you have learned about it about the further respiration you need to be able to um tell the difference between photorespiration and 
the regular photosynthesis okay so um, I've added here the lesson 5 in your uh, lessons folder uh, there are images okay so these are the summary uh, of difference between the photosynthesis that you have learned and photorespiration both is happening under um, um, the influence of, of light okay so uh, with the photosynthesis okay uh, plants use the sunlight to synthesize um, um, sugar as we know it okay so photorespiration it is actually a type of respiratory process remember one thing um, there is two types of respiration okay okay I would like to highlight that there's a two types of respiration and they do different thing so the first one that you learned today this is called photo respiration Okay. And the second one, this is cellular respiration. <coughs> okay. So, even though um, to some degree they kind of use similar um, organelles, but the, the goals, the motivation of each of this process is different okay this is um, like a um, salvage pathway pathway for carbon this is to um, break down sugar to get energy okay so so they, they, they're quite uh, different okay so do not get confused between um, when people say respiration <clears throat> you need to understand the context is actually referring to either photorespiration or cellular respiration okay so for the uh, photorespiration um, you need to let me open I'll reopen this okay it happens predominantly in the presence of oxygen okay so photosynthesis you know that requires co2 okay and photorespiration occurs in, in the in the presence of the light during the day it happens in the c3 plants rubisco instead of producing the 3 pga um, it's it's now um, producing um, phosphoglycolate this is two carbon um, product okay not a three carbon product that you are familiar with okay and then for the respiration also waste some of the already fixed carbon that's why uh, many books many people are calling it as um, the wasteful process okay because it's just a waste energy right and it is also a less efficient process of producing glucose okay? at the end of the pathway you still get glucose but you are wasting a lot of other resources along the way okay All right so um in the folder as well the second image here this is the um the summary of pathway of photorespiration okay so this is in the cell please remember this is a cell this is a cyt cytosol uh, which is your cytoplasm your chloroplast when you learn photosynthesis, we only play it around here. Okay, you have your um, photoreaction in the thylakoid membrane somewhere in here, and then in the stroma, you have your Calvin cycle. The moment photorespiration takes place because of the increase in oxygen concentration, instead of um, having the regular photo uh, carbon fixation pathway from the fixation reduction and the regeneration the steps are now different okay the rubisco it reacts with oxygen the oxygenation reaction to produce 
three phospho uh, glycerate. Okay, so this is the thing. Uh, sorry, uh, it's going it's going to produce two phospho uh, glycolate. If it produced three phospho glycerate, this is your regular uh, Kelvin cycle. Okay, you see it's kind of forking out here. So to the right, that is your regular Kelvin cycle. To the left, this is photorespiration. Okay, so this is the first uh, product of it, the phosphoglycolate. And this is going to undergo a series of pathway and reactions involving three organelles now. You have your chloroplast here, and then you have your paroxysome. This is another kind of organelle. And then you have your mitochondria. Okay, so you can see that this is not a very linear process and it involves multi organelles. And uh, you can see there there are many enzymes that involve here. So your job now is to watch the video, understand what what is actually happening uh, during the photorespiration, and then follow this pathway here. Number one, what happens? So Rubisco does the oxygenation reaction. Fine. Okay. Number two, the phosphoglycolate phosphatase convert it into the glycolate and then this glycolate is going to be transferred to the paroxysome okay uh, through a a is what we call a b on the uh, the membrane of the chloroplast is what we call as the translocator the name you can refer it to here okay so a the translocator name is glycerate glycolate translocator so you can see that um, it is kind of a long process and you're not going to get back the glucose that very easily okay and also in here you got all the abbreviations here uh, for 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 all the labeling um, in this diagram okay and then you can see how it moves from the paroxysome and then it goes to the mitochondria and so on and actually this is here where you get your the co2 back all right okay so have a look at this this takes some time okay that's why I'll, I'll, I'll give you time to do to to learn this uh, very uh, closely so after you have done with all of that um, I want you to do this uh, small exercise uh, you can open it so your exercise is in here you see we got this folder here class activity submission there is a um, photorespiration quiz for today so open that <coughs> from that so these are the question okay after you're done with all of that please answer this and submit to your corresponding group um, uh, folders okay we will revisit this uh, discuss about this um, on when we when you're going to see me again on Wednesday all right so there are six questions okay answer in your group okay please do stay to the, do this because this is your um, carry marks all right okay all right okay um, that is all um, that I want you to, to do okay so let me uh, repeat if you if some of you just join in um, today is the self learn activity uh, you should be learning about the photorespiration in continuation of your photosynthesis machinery um, from two weeks back uh, follow this video here and then you can use um, the uh, images that I have put um, in the lesson folder so we got the lesson folder here lesson 5 image 1 lesson 5 image 2 uh, so this should be enough to summarize the things that you need to understand with the photorespiration versus the photosynthesis that you have learned earlier and then um, use the second image um, to understand the pathway of photorespiration that involves 
three organelles, namely chloroplast, peroxisome, and also the mitochondria. Okay, see how um, the pathway starts. You can follow it all the way until you get your um, glucose back to some degree here. No way, it here. All right. Okay, that is all to it. All right. So I, I'll give you time to do this, and I'll I'll be here until um, um, nine uh, while I'm preparing for 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 your questions. In the meantime, if you've got any question, you can ask me. Okay. <clears throat> I'll be here until 9, so if you've got any questions, just, just ask.